In this video, you will learn how to set up data quality checks in your ETL pipeline to prevent bad data from entering your data repositories, ultimately leading to improved data for your business teams. My name is Dean. I'm a senior solution architect at AWS, and I'm going to demonstrate Glue data quality capabilities for ETL pipeline. For this demo, I have two CSV datasets stored in Amazon S3. First is customer dataset. It is a list of customers from a department store. Next is sales transaction dataset, which I'm going to use as a reference to ensure that all customers have purchased some item from the store. Let's now add evaluate data quality transform where you can author your data quality roles. Let's choose both dataset as input to this transform. My goal is to check for the data quality of the customer dataset and identify error records for this dataset. Hence, I will specify my primary dataset as customer. Sales dataset is going to be used as one of the reference dataset. Let's go and add the data quality check. First, I want to ensure that there is at least 100 records in my data set. To do this, I will use row count rule that validates the number of records in the primary data set. Next, I want to ensure that customer ID is not null and unique using is primary key rule. Next, I will check that the first name column length is greater than two. Sometimes, you need to implement complex business rules. Glue Data Quality provides custom SQL rule type to accomplish this. Here, I will check that at least phone or email is present for each row in the file. Let's now add a data quality rule to ensure that all customers have sales record. To do so, I will add a referential integrity rule by providing the source field, reference field, and a threshold. Our rule authoring is now complete. To identify records that failed data quality check, I will choose original data that will output my primary data set and then enable add new columns to indicate data quality errors. This will add new node called row level outcomes. In the output schema of this node, you can see four new columns are added in addition to the primary data. Data quality rules pass will show all the past rules for the particular row. Data quality rules fail will show all the failed rules. There are some rule types such as row count that are not applied at individual row level. These rules are recorded in data quality's rule skip column. Finally, data quality evaluation result shows the overall past fail result at a row level. Now, going back to evaluate data quality node, I will also choose data quality results. This will add a new node, rule outcomes. It will show results summarized at rule level. I will write the output to separate S3 bucket for detailed analysis and visualization. Again, going back to evaluate data quality node to choose the action based on the data quality evaluation result. You can choose from continue with job, which is default, fail job after loading the target data, or fail job without loading the target data. In my job, I will go with the default option of continue with the job. From row level outcomes node, I will filter failed record from past record using conditional router. Let's provide the group name and add condition. I will filter based on data quality evaluation result column matches failed. Default group will have all the past record. I will write the output of these nodes to different S3 location. Past record will go to past folder and failed record will go to the failed folders.
Blue Studio automatically generates the code that you can view. You can easily take this code, parameterize it, and reuse the same job for different data sources and data quality rules, thus reducing your overall development time. Let's save and run this job. The job execution is successful. Let's check the data quality result in the data quality tab. As you can see, three out of five rules passed and overall score is 60%. Let's look at some of the field record. You can see the field record and the failure reason for each of the records. I can now work with my source system owners to fix this data issue at the source or identify and apply new transformation to improve data quality. In this demo, I showed you how you can use Glue data quality in your ETL pipeline to identify and filter bad data from your high quality data. We would love to hear your feedback. Please feel free to reach out to us using contact us link on data quality tab. Thank you.